It's really funny how some people literally thought that Gojo would be finished in this chapter after what happened at the end of last chapter after Sukuna was able to land a hit on Gojo and slice his neck even though they didn't realize that Gojo would do reverse curse technique. And I know that the fact that it's been a minute since Gojo actually got injured by his opponent since the last time we saw them was when he was fighting against Toji. But now we see that Sukuna, he's added on one of the lists to able to injure Gojo. But we continue where we left off from the last battle. After Gojo and Sukuna, they did their battle of their domain expansion. And we see that Sukuna was the more superior one because of the fact that Sukuna doesn't have a barrier when he activated his domain expansion. But when Gojo, he has a barrier, but it was weakened on the outside. So when Sukuna's domain expansion was able to hit Gojo's domain expansion is shatter it because the barrier is weak on the outside and Sukuna's doesn't have a barrier so it can hit from the inside and outside so immediately Gojo he goes on ahead and activated reverse curse technique to heal his wounds as he goes on battling against Sukuna now some people speculated that you know it's easy to escape Sukuna's domain because it isn't closed but their range could be massive it could cover the whole shibuya area especially if the fact that sakuna's domain has been activated and gojo's domain expansion has been shattered gojo cannot use any other curse technique besides reverse curse technique so gojo can't even teleport out of the range of Sukuna's domain expansion. So he has to run and you know Sukuna's not going to let that happen. So as long as Sukuna's domain is activated, he's going to continue on doing these slashes. And the slashes that Sukuna has gave to Gojo was so bad and so horrific to the point where Gojo is full bloody. Like blood is coming out of his body, his shirt and his clothes is all ripped up even his eye got slashed and gojo's whole face is just 100 full of blood so then sukuna was just like all right enough cutting you up let's go on ahead and throw hands and sukuna and gojo goes on to a hand-to-hand -hand combat which looks really good and even though that gojo is cut deeply bad he still is able to maintain himself and able to like pretty much keep up with this whole battle so while that's happening, Yuji is like, hey, you know that shrine in the middle when Sukuna activate his domain expansion? What will happen if Gojo goes on ahead and destroy it? And Kusasabe and Meimei, they said that we don't know. It's probably something for like a display to like pretty much make the domain kind of like look like kind of like a design or look like devastating, but we don't even know because the fact that Gojo, he's not even using the six eyes ability to try to take it down, then it's pretty much is something that is not worth it. So at this time, Gojo, he goes on ahead and he activate a simple domain. And the reason why he do a simple domain is because of the output is so low, he's able to do it. So when he did a simple domain, he used the reverse curse technique to go heal himself. And we see some of the wounds has actually been healed and his eye has been restored. So then they go on ahead and continue throwing hands multiple times. But then Sukuna goes on ahead and he activated his slash to slash Gojo's face again, messing it up. And then we see Gojo use another simple domain. But at this time, he's not healing himself. He's actually replenishing his cursed energy because of the fact that Gojo did two domains and two reverse curse techniques in a short amount of time. So he has to go on ahead and reactivate his cursed energy. And of course that helps because we see that during the whole course of the hand-to-hand -hand combat, Sukuna goes on ahead and he activated another slash, but then he didn't even notice that Gojo got him tangled. So Gojo was just like, you know, I got you. And Sukuna's just like, wait, his speed just now like how is he able enough to go ahead and catch me because he was already like in the far distance and then gojo goes on ahead and he released one of his technique red as he's able to land a shot and a hit on sukuna as sukuna is flying to his shrine 
destroying it or just pretty much damaging it or crashing into it and this sequence was so awesome and we see that Takuna is badly injured as some of his face is burned off and his limbs as Sukuna is just smirking as he can't believe that he fell for it but then we see Gojo he's standing tall and he's using his reverse curse technique to heal himself as Gojo is standing tall and the chapter just ends and this chapter was really interesting because we see that Gojo took a gamble and things could have went left but Gojo showcased that you know he's willing to do anything to win this battle and it was really cool to see like you know Kusasabe he kind of explain it in a way like gojo he knows how to use a simple domain but since he's such a prodigy he just really cannot explain it or teach it to a way where students can understand so like people like kusasabe or anyone else they can go ahead and teach it because they know the fundamentals of it so that's what kusasabe was trying to say instead of saying that you know he can't teach it because the fact that you know gojo doesn't know how he just knows how to do it at will like it's just born with him but other than that you know this chapter was really crazy we're going to see more craziness later on but surprisingly good jujutsu kaisen is going to be on break next week so we'll see what's going to happen after the break but other than that let me know down in the comment section how you guys feel about this chapter how you guys feel about the outcome and everything else but let me know down in the comment section if you guys do like the video please give a like subscribe and remember always be decent this is the monotone man and hope you guys have a wonderful day and be safe out here peace